worse life than I had. I'm going to have to sit down a little bit. Uh, I'm recovering from cancer, and it's, and I, I just have so much strength. Tilt. People don't realize that there's a mission field in your church, in the four walls of this church. He mentioned missions a while ago. I've been to eight foreign countries on missions for Royal Rangers, some of them more than once. So I believe in foreign missions. But it greatly bothers me because as soon as a God is founded on missions, and that's great, I agree with it. I mean, I wouldn't have gone to other countries if I didn't. But they don't consider the mission field in the United States of America. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we have a mission field right here. Amen. The children of this nation are being left behind. And we're going to lose the race. It's coming down the pack if we don't do something about it. The National Office has done an outstanding job of building the curriculum for the Ministry of All Rangers. And incidentally, they're beginning to catch up with it on, on what you're calling missionettes. And I like that because that's what we, that's what we remember as missionettes. Sugar and I remember Christ ambassadors. In fact, we can, stay, we can still sing both songs. Yeah. yeah. The ministry of Royal Rangers and Girls Ministry are extremely important because it teaches boys and girls the Word of God. It teaches them Christian core values. It teaches them the love of Jesus Christ. And when they get to the age they're making their own decisions, and a lot of times that starts about 15, if they have those three things in their, in their, in their computer between their ears, called your mind, then they make good decisions. I'm gonna give you a test. You like, anybody like test? No. I'm going to say one word, and that search engine in your computer is going to bring it up. It's going to give you a mental picture. Banana. Oh, it's yellow. It's about 10 inches long. It has a stem on one end, a button on the other. It's curved. You peel it, and the field inside is white. The cob is white. The tip of it, you don't eat. That little little tip of it, you don't eat it. You know the flavor, the odor, and the consistency. All that from one word. Now, the odds are that was programmed in your computer when you were a tricycle motor. Now I'm going to give you another word. Autophotage. Anybody here know what autophotage means? Why? Autophotage. You don't know what it is? Oh my. You know, it's disappointing. <laughs> dirge. Anybody here know what dirge is? Dirge, yeah. You song leaders don't know what that is. Oh my goodness. The reason you don't know it is because it hasn't been computerized. It's not in there to your search engine can't find it. But they found the banana because it. Now, that's the point I'm trying to make. If we don't teach our boys and girls the Word of God, teach them Christian core values and teach them that Jesus loves them. 
when they get to the age of making their own decisions, their search engine is not going to find what they need to find to make good decisions. Sugar and I have attended all but three of the last 40 four years of the National Road Ranger Council. The very first one, Brother Thomas Zimmerman, Dr. Zimmerman, who had been the the general superintendent for about 18 years at that time. Now, in, in those days, the Assembly of God required all the pastors in the United States to send in a report on their church called All Church Ministries Report, ACMR. And the National Office did statistics with it. Sugar and I heard this firsthand. This is not hammered down. We listened to him speak at a, at a banquet. Brother Zimmerman did. And I'm going to quote what he said. There are more salvations in the Assemblies of God as a result of the Royal Ranger ministry than any other ministry in the Assemblies of God. You hear that? And the second position was held by, come on, missionettes. Now, if industry had a product that produced more profit for it than any other product, what would they do? They'd sell it. They'd do everything they could, billboards, TV, radio, etc. But we haven't done it. I don't understand it. You know, they place a great emphasis on, on foreign missions, and I, and I believe in it. Don't, don't, don't think I don't. But they don't hear. A small percentage of Assembly of God churches in the South Texas district have the ministry of all ranges going. It ought to be mandatory. And also, the girls' ministry should be mandatory. It's a very important ministry because it teaches boys and girls the Word of God. You'd be surprised at the amount of scriptures that they have to memorize and learn. A few years later, after Brother Zimmerman made that statement, Brother T. Raymond Carlson was the general superintendent. Now, he did not hear Brother Zimmerman because he wasn't there. But he addressed the council floor. There's about 550 of us all together. And he made the same statement. A few years later, brother, I'm trying to think, don't ever get old, you'll forget things. <laughs> uh, Terry Rayburn, brother Rayburn. He was on the general superintendent's staff. He addressed the council floor and made the same statement. More salvations as a result of the ministry of all rangers than any other ministry, and mission is for second. A few years later, general superintendent made the same statement. And a few years later, Brother Trask, after he retired, wrote an article in the Pentecostal Evangel making the same statement. That was over a period of 32 years that the missionettes and Royal Rangers held that statistics. So it must be a pretty good program. It must be a pretty good ministry. Incidentally, Pastor, I didn't bring a timepiece, so if, uh, if you get to the point where you need me to shut off, forget it. 
No, let, let me know, would you? Let me know. I'm serious. I didn't bring it. I left my, my uh, phone in the car deliberately. Now, at the time that that happened, on one of those times that happened, when I became the district commander, I noticed a trend among the boys. The highest award in the Royal Ranger Ministry is the Gold Medal of Achievement. It's kind of like the Eagle Scout uh, for the Scouts. It says it's more valuable because it has all the requirements in it that they have to learn about the Lord. And I know there's a trend in the boys in the South Texas District. So I went to the national office and I talked to Donna Jester. She was the secretary to Brother Johnny Barnes, the national commander. And I got a copy of the records on all those boys in the South Texas District that had earned their gold, gold medal of achievement from the beginning until that date. I started this phone campaign. It took me several months. I called pastors, called parents, called them, neighbors, presbyters, and I finally got most of them. Ninety percent of them were still serving the Lord. Amen. Grown, married, families. Now at that time, I had a good friend, a lady at Clued Assembly of God, just down the road a little ways, Sister Mills. She had been the missionic leader in her church for four to eleven years. And she's been there for years. She had eighteen girls that had gone all the way to the top, stare with the stars, and had all the training. She decided to have a reunion. So she contacted all those girls, except one. She couldn't find number 18. Number 17 had a conflict and, and couldn't, couldn't attend. 16 of them came back. 17 of them were still serving the Lord. That's a 92% retention. Now at that time, exact time, the Pentecostal Evangel came out with an article. And the Pentecostal Evangel is, at that time, was the official paper of the Assemblies of God. And it was edited very, very close. And it made this statement. The children in our churches that grow up in our churches, that when they get to the age you're making their own decision, only 10% of them serve the Lord. Now, there's no other ministry in the Assembly of God that teaches the Word of God, Christian core values, and love of Jesus Christ, like ministries of Crow's Ministry and Royal Rangers. And that's why they're so important. Now, you have to know how, you have to understand what the ministry is all about. You can't just have Royal Rangers. You've got to know the books, the information. It takes a lot of time. I've had many, many training camps I've gone to and served on many, many training camps. But there's all kinds of training that is required. A lot of time is required to get the information to know how to properly teach Royal Rangers. Just to have Royal Rangers 